and welcome back to Lantern Court Videos. I didn't pre-record this, I just didn't have the time. Uh, but it's Tuesday, I'm getting it out anyway, so don't judge! Um, this comes to us from Samantha Blake, who asked the question, who, who would win a fight? That's a different video I'm gonna do. Um, what Lantern Court does Krona from Soul Reaper belong to? Now, Krona is a very unique, I think is a good way to put it, character. Um, Krona is the offspring, I was about to say son slash daughter, but we'll get to that, offspring of uh, Medusa. Now, at full disclosure, I don't, I have not watched nor I have read uh, Soul Eater. It's probably one of the ones I probably should get in on, um, but I have not read or watched Soul Eater. Soul Eater. I do know a little bit about them, and Death Battle at least tuned me into their personality, which is actually the more important thing is personality, not how strong they are or whatever. Um, and Krona's a weird one. Krona's got a very negative attitude about, uh, attitude about kind of the world and themselves. That comes from their mother, Medusa, being very, you know, terrible. Uh, they're also bonded to a weapon called Ragnarok, who, in the world of Soul Eater, there are the Misers, and if I'm not mistaken, there are the Death Weapons. Both are actually people, but the weapons can turn, the people can actually turn into weapons, the misers use the weapons. Well, Krona is a miser, and the weapon is Ragnarok, who, can, who turns into a scythe, but also turns into this, is actually a separate entity that kind of bullies Krona around a little bit, too. Um, it's very odd. Krona does have outbursts, though, of, like, rage and insanity. Krona, Krona's very unstable. Now, I'm using, I'm playing the pronoun game because Krona's... Uh, gender is actually not known uh sex and gender it is not known G krona is one of the very few characters in anime i can think of that is like the pure definition of a gender neutral character a non-binary character i can think of characters like um i can't remember the name of the character but there's a character in roni kenshin who was a man who was a guy who dressed up and you know played the part of a woman and then there are women who play the part of men who identifies men, um, like, oh, um, Sis Mag, and, um, Big Sis Mag from, um, uh, 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 My Hero Academia. It was a woman, but they were transgender, and they actually were, you know, identified as a man. I've seen that many times, but a character who you actually don't know the gender of, you know they must clear, they clearly have, a, like, biological sex, Whatever they identify with is what they choose to do. But yeah, Krona's very unique in that. That's why it's very hard, difficult. If like if I were to just look, I should not. You do not do this in real life. Like, do what do I just think you look like? Kind of get. If I were to guess, based on design, appearance, attitude, of course. But in boy, in anime, voice acting is a crapshoot because men can sound like women, women can sound like men. Um. Hmm. I actually would go guy, surprisingly. I think Krona, if Kr whatever Krona's biological sex is, I think Krona might be a very just thin, slightly infeminate, uh, you know, wimpy, let's be honest, kind of mentally wimpy, uh, boy. I, I think that might be, but it's a 50 50 coin toss. That's the thing. Not that it matters either way. I actually find it very interesting that it's basically a non binary character, it's a gender neutral character. So that that is very interesting. But Unfortunately, this, not, not the non-binary part, but, um, the rest of Krona's personality makes picking a Lantern core for them very difficult. Add on to the fact that Ragnarok has its own separate personality to deal with. And would actually Ragnarok's own personality being basically bonded to, um, uh, Krona actually negate a Lantern ring? Probably not, if I'm going to be honest. The, the duality may p cause a problem in terms of what ring could go to it, but ultimately the rings are a near universal level devices. So there, it's not like a lot, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like Krona or Ragnarok or them combined well and truly out exceed the level of universal. As far as we can tell, they don't. Um, they're dangerous, certainly, uh, but they do not threaten the fabric of the universe. They could not hold back a big bang. They cannot travel light speed or anything like that. Uh, but in terms of the, what Lantern Corps they call for, I, we're going to have to get a lot of these out of the way, because really, when I look through I'm like, I only need two really qualify. So green actually is pretty not, is pretty out of the, equi uh, out of the question, actually, I think, because of Krona's negative attitude on themselves and the overall outlook of the world. Although Krona apparently did gain more positive personality attributes, I think the damage was ultimately done. Um, and it's still very wimpy and insecure and unstable. I don't think Green could fit at all. 
Will obviously doesn't work because Krona has no issues trying to kill people. Uh, death, see, that's an interesting one because they are technically like Reapers. Of, they're a type of, and they're not truly like a Shinigami like in Bleach or um, or Death like like the Green Beard itself. Death is a legitimate character in this show too. He's the guy who actually founded the school. But yeah, um, unfortunately. While nihilistic to some degree, I don't think Krona really fits death, just because of the nature of the Death Lantern Corps, as a, Black Lantern Corps as a whole. You need to have died, be dead, or uh, encompass death as a whole, and Krona doesn't really fit that. Hope, again, even with gaining more positive attributes, Krona seems to be very nihilistic, so I don't think hope works. Avarice is a weird one, because I don't think... Krona really doesn't do things for themselves, they do it on the behest of their mo of Medusa. So, I mean, occasionally they do something for themselves, but there's no real avarice behind it. Likewise, I surprisingly don't think compassion can work, because it's not that Krona is, actually lacks compassion uh, per se, it's more that Krona, what's the best way to put it, from what I can find, by the way, Krona just is very unstable, but ultimately does learn in the future, you know, to these kind of attributes. Love, nah, again, love, it's like, it's more of a duty, Krona feels, does not like she, it's not like Krona actually loves, like, Medusa very much, like, love you, mom, do what I say, smack, no more higher hangers, yeah, no, uh, it, so I don't think love works either, really, the only two Lantern Corps, when it was all said and done, I felt worked, were, oh god, that's not centered in the least, one second here, let's fix that, shall we, oh, so we gotta shrink it down a bit here, boop, uh, well, okay, anyway, the Red Lantern Corps uh, of Rage. Let's center that. Okay, there we go. Uh, Red Lantern Corps of Rage. I feel Krona has probably enough repressed anger, add on Ragnarok's influence, and then add on Krona's berserker moments, that Rage might actually fit very well. I mean, think of what happens if you're uh, if someone who's abused all their life, trained to be something, and then finally it's like one day they're pushed past the brink and they just snap and go go beast mode on um, of a group of people. That's kind of what you would get with Krona. Um, also, but also fear. I think fear ties into that as well, because again, Krona is very powerful. Uh, and because of that, Krona is, uh, very, is very dangerous to go up against. And I do think Krona inspires a decent amount of fear in people. Between the two, I will say it's probably the rage. And I say rage because of the type of upbringing this character has. Again, you factor in a lot of abuse, neglect, all that. You've been born, you, you know, you're born for a, a specific purpose. Uh, you must fulfill the purpose. That's all your values for. That's going to F the kid up. Um, so, uh, and it's clear. Krona's effed up. Uh, so, ultimately, I'd actually probably go Rage. I think Ray, Atlantic or Rage fits Krona. Plus, adding Ragnarok's influence in there as well. Because uh, you, you have to add that in there, definitely. But ultimately, what do you think? Krona? Or do you go, um, uh, excuse me, Krona. Uh, do you think Lanticore of Rage, Lanticore of Fear? Or do you think any of the other seven could theoretically apply? Let me know in the comments below, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you don't want to be notified. I just who would win. Star Wars, Severe Magic, what if anything you do in the channel? Put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to that at some point. I've actually got, um, they got a pre-recorded my what if for tomorrow, but I got one other video we got to do. A special birthday what if. Or b birthday who would win. Coming up. So keep your eyes out for that. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.